in Mark 10 from verse 45. Mark 10 from verse 45. For even the Son of Man came not to be ministered unto, but to minister and to give his life a ransom for many. Your life is too small to be the purpose of your life. It is very important. We are his workmanship. The fact that all the endowment that God gave you are too much to be expended at only you. Will you spend your life or will you invest your life in the one who has given the life? Your assignment on this planet is tied to your capacity to meet need to other people's lives. You were designed to add value to other people, to solve problems for others, and to meet needs in the lives of other people. The starting point is to receive forgiveness through Jesus Christ and receive a change of nature. When you ask God for forgiveness and He forgives you, the Holy Spirit, the third person of the Trinity, comes to you to live in you and the Holy Spirit can never leave you the same. If the Holy Spirit lives inside you, is motivating, inspiring, and directing you so your life can never remain the same again. It brings power into your life. It produces in your life the character of God. It produces the competence of God to make things happen. Both the character and the competence of God enables you to add value to other people. In dealing with character, we look at your capacity to love people. The Holy Spirit gives all the capacity to love people. Remember, if God is love and you are created in his image, then you are to love as Christ loved. There's a lack of love in our world today. The family is where the average person should experience love for the first time. To get so much of it that they have enough to share with the community. Satan has attacked the family today. The family is getting dysfunctional. And instead of love, people are experiencing rejection from home, hatred, rivalry, and bitterness. I declare upon your life today that every area your family has been attacked. The hand of God rests upon you today. That yoke of the enemy is broken in the name of Jesus. We experience in this life things against God's purpose, against God's will. People need love in life. If you have developed the capacity to love, you're going to be a blessing to other people. When you love someone, you value them to the point of being willing to make sacrifices for them. In 1 John 3 from verse 16, we see that if you want to add value to people, you must be ready to sacrifice. The Holy Spirit gives all the capacity to make sacrifices on behalf of other people. When we love people, we forgive them and give to them. There is so much hatred in our world today. Because there is no forgiveness. Forgiveness is writing off an emotional debt and offense in your life. May the hand of God be upon you today. The grace to love as Christ loved. The grace to love as Christ loved. Receive that grace today in the name of Jesus. Today is a day. You are a world changer. When you choose to walk in love. In 1 John 3, 17, it gives us an interesting dimension to it. People have intangible need, including love today. Having a sense of belonging and self-esteem 
and in the hierarchy of need. Those comes at the top. Meeting basic need is where we start from. May the Lord give you the heart today to meet the needs of others. To love your neighbor as Christ has loved you. In the name of Jesus Christ. There is healing today in your family. Deliverance today in your family. Every confusion caused by the enemy. Today I declare peace. In your life, in your family, in your business. In the name of Jesus Christ. Go in God's power today. In Jesus' name I declare. Amen.